Good morning, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rabbi Cass. I'm a cipher in Muncie, New York, and you can find me online at sophercenter.com. So just before we start today, I wanted to encourage those who haven't subscribed yet to the channel to do so. Uh, that way, all future videos that I make, you'll be able to get a notification if you hit the bell, you get a notification there when future videos come out. Um, if you haven't already watched any of my videos, you'll, you'll learn very quickly that um, what I teach is not just the mechanism, how to do things, but there's a lot more. And quite frankly, um, most of the information which I teach, you cannot find anywhere in, in books or online anywhere. So like the, just like the channel, subscribe. And uh, then also for me, it encourages me to make more videos, the more likes, the more subscriptions that I have and I see. Um, it pushes me forward to see that there really is a need for the channel and, and uh, it encourages me to uh, make more videos. So if you haven't done that yet, please do so. And uh, on to today. So today we're going to be making the, the knot for the double dalit, also known as the square knot. That, uh, well, many chassidim wear it. Also those who wear tefill, uh, tefill, uh, minig ashkenaz also have the double dalit, the square knot. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, here we go. Okay, so if you haven't watched any of my videos before, I'll quickly uh, just reiterate over here that uh, before you tie, start tying any of the knots or or working on the tefillin, you have to say Hareni Kaisha Lashen Kedushas Tefillin, which means that I'm uh, tying uh, I'm tying these knots, these uh, the ritzuos for the mitzvah of the tefillin. Now, uh, if you do need ritzuos, you can obviously you can find them on my website. There will be a link in the description if you need to buy new straps and ritzuos. And uh, okay, so here we go. Now, before you put the ritzua through, you always bend it like this, a semicircle, arch it down. It slides through the tefillin, the bias, a lot easier. Once you get it through, you'll reverse the direction, okay? And that's to, uh, in order that the top of the ritsua doesn't scrape anymore. It's easier to push it through when it's when the top is is up. But once you get it through, I like to arch it the opposite direction, that when as you're pulling the ritsua through the bias, if anything is scraping, it's going to be the bottom of the ritsua, not the top. Okay, so you pull it through. I'm going to change the position of the camera now just so you could see just real quick what I want to show you. Okay, so if you watch the video on the single dial, you'll see I explained there when you start off before you make the cash, you have to make sure that both sides, both end, uh, ends of the ritsuas um, are going to be about equal or close to equal. But when you're tying this particular knot, you actually have to make sure that the left side, okay, the left side is longer than the right side by about 8 to 10 inches. Okay, so if you look here, this is ready to tie now. This is the left side. If you follow it, this is the left side right here by my thumb. You'll see that the left side is longer. And the reason for that is I'll explain shortly. Okay, so now I have the bias. I'm ready to tie the Kesher. And again, make sure you say that uh, I'm tying for the sake of the minutes of the Tefillin. Uh, remember, the right side is going to be longer than the left side by a couple of inches. And you'll see why soon that is. Okay, so then the first step would be to take the Ritsua on the right side and give it a pinch. Okay, so just see what I'm doing here. Give it a pinch. Then take the Ritsua from the left side and cross it over just like that. Okay, leave about the space over here, leave about the width of the Ritsua. Okay, then I go under and through. Oops. Just like that. Once. And now I'm going to do it a second time. The second time that we pull it through, we don't pull it all the way through. Okay. Just like that. Leave a space. Now, if you don't already know, the right side of the Ritsua, when you're wearing the tefillin, the right side needs to always be longer than the left side. Okay? So the reason why I left the left side longer is because eventually it gets transferred to becoming the right side. And this is where it becomes the right side right now. Okay? So remember, this is the left side, and this Ritsua right here 
this is the uh, the bottom of this pinch right it just goes see this here this is the bottom of the left side now what you do is that what the next stage is basically you take that Ritsuo which we haven't touched until now we take it I put it over here over this Ritsuo on the right and through the whoops I'm trying to look through the video and through the Ritsuo just like that Okay, just like that. And then of course you tighten up the knot. And if you need to make any adjustments, um, if you if you already mastered how to actually make the knot, you you definitely don't have to watch the video that I made previously on adjusting the Kesher, because you if you make it you understand exactly how it works. But if you need to adjust it, you just follow this this one and this one. You just feed it through to make the necessary adjustments. And here you have the square knot. That's what the front looks like. That's what the back should look like. And as I told you in the beginning of the video, now the right side is longer than the left side. Okay? Can you see that? And that's the way it's supposed to be. Okay? So that's it basically. Hope I didn't forget anything. I think that's it. Actually, one last thing. Um, of course, you'll make sure that the the bias and the Kesher are centered. You do that by pulling like this, the knot, and both sides, both sides of the Ritsua here and here should be equally taut. And the center line here in between the Dalid should go up to basically center with the line on the tefillin, Shalraisha has the lines here for the different compartments, they should line up exactly. And that's how you know if your tefillin are going to sit properly on your head. This has to be in the right spot in the back, and this has to be the right spot on the top of your head. So that's how you, that's how you, uh, tie the, the Kesha Shalraisha, the double dollar, or the square. Um, thank you for watching the video. If it helped you, I hope it did. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Till next time, bye.